in Major League Baseball, what is truly ruining baseball. All right, let's go ahead and pivot over to the Major League Baseball, shall we? Absolutely. All right. It's my okay. favorite. It is your favorite. It's your favorite topic to talk about. I know why it's your favorite. Because I just get to ask questions and drink whiskey? Yeah, that's pretty much what it that's is. That's exactly why it's my favorite. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if you are currently not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We are on a grind to 1,000 subscribers. Once we hit that, we are giving away $1,000 to five subscribers. Uh, not each one of them. Each one of them will split up $500. Seriously, what the f are you doing? How does this work? <laughs> we are giving away $500 to five subscribers, $100 each. Well, first of all, it's been a snooze if so far in free agency over the last like Not much is week. going on. Man. Literally nothing has happened since, I mean, Stroman signed, which we'll get into in a, little, in a little bit, but pretty much nothing has happened since we last talked last week. Well, I mean, one of the big keys what we talked about last week was Blake Snell's one of these guys, right? Yes. Blake Snell's one of these Blake smells. guys that were like, how is he not signed anywhere? <laughs> Blake smells. Blake smell. <laughs> Blake Snell is one of these guys that we're just wondering, how has he not signed anywhere yet? Hmm. Well, we figured it out. Yes, we did. Blake Snell is currently asking for a nine-year, $270 million contract. My question for you, does Scott Boris make it happen? No, definitely not. No, he doesn't get that. Now, does he still get $200 million? Maybe. So, so is he worth, I mean, because obviously Blake Snell is not the youngest guy on the market, right? He's 31 years old. It's not that he's not serviceable for a pitcher. He's probably technically in his prime, but on a nine-year contract, you're into your damn near your 40s. He is 40 at that point. Yeah. Nine years. Nine so years, that's 40. Is the risk worth the reward on Blake Snell for a nine-year contract? He is 31. You're going to be paying this guy when he's 40. He is not the rocket. He's not Roger Clemens. He's not Kurt Schilling. He's not Tom Glavin. A Smoltz even. You mm -hmm. know, these players pitch well into their 40s, but because they're built for it, this guy is not built for it. So it's just a huge risk to take a nine. And I think that's contract. why he's probably looking for a nine year contract, right? Did you hear what the Yankees offered him? I didn't. Yeah. So according to the Dominican MLB insider, Mike Rodriguez, the Yankees offered Snell a five year, $150 million contract. So that nine years, 270 million, that's a high a, 30 million a year, 30 million a year. He has one of Cy Young, right? Yeah. He won it last year. Okay. He actually has two. He won it in 2018 as well. Okay. So he's a two-time uh, Cy Young Award winner. However, the funny thing is, is he's doing it out of a very untraditional way. He walks a lot of guys. He puts a lot of guys on base. He just leaves them stranded, which is not sustainable in, when it comes to pitching. Guy does not go deep in the games. He's heavily on the walk side. He's His stuff does not blend well to aging. Nine years is a lot to ask. $270 million, way too much to ask. Okay, so now we're into the reason for this whole video. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching this far. We appreciate it. The average MLB franchise is currently worth $2.07 billion. There's mm -hmm. not there's not a Major League Baseball franchise that is hurting. Why are there franchises that won't spend money to make their teams actually better? That's a great question. And let me start with a tweet by uh, Craig Goldstein. So starting in 2022, every MLB team will be given guaranteed $60 million. A local TV deal like the Regional Sport Networks. And it's going to be anywhere from 40 million plus. So every team at the beginning of the season will get a hundred million dollars plus guaranteed before selling a single ticket. That's basically the bottom line. These people don't love baseball. They aren't trying to build a winner. They're trying to make money. They've made money in business. They want the prestige of owning a professional sports team. And in baseball, you're given a hundred million dollars right off the gate every single season. Okay. Cause that's my next question. Who is the cheapest or most penny pinching owners? teams no we'll definitely baseball. we'll definitely get into that but i'll name five teams you got the rays marlins orioles pirates and a's these are all five teams where their salary is under a hundred million dollars the whole team salary is under a hundred million the whole team salary is under a hundred million dollars even though they get the hundred million dollar check again before they sell a ticket before they pay for parking before he buys a hot dog those teams are making tens of millions of dollars let me talk about two teams that actually did a great job in that the rays and the orioles the orioles won 100 games last year that's fantastic. They won the division. The Rays yeah. are a perennial playoff contender. They are always, they were in the World Series in 2020. Yeah, absolutely. So you can be a petty pitcher in Major League Baseball and still win. However, it's not conducive to winning in playoff baseball. But at that team, guess which one's the lowest? I'm going to say the A's. You'd be spot on, sir. Would you want to take a guess at what their payroll is? I'm going to say it's probably roughly around $80 million. $47 million. Forty-seven million. Forty-seven million. The Dodgers are going to play one guy that. <laughs> and 
Actually, no, they're only paying him $2 million. Oh, good point. <laughs> little salary deferral. And all you salty people in the comments, I can hear it already. Just <laughs> ruining baseball. But this is truly what, in my opinion, is what really is ruining baseball. You have cheap owners that won't spend money. Who are these players supposed to go to? You know, the CBA would work if it wasn't for greedy owners. None of these teams will pay for their young talent that are coming up. Typically, what will happen is they'll trade them before they get into arbitration. Yeah. Arbitration is where you can negotiate for a fair market based off your performance. These teams trade those assets away before they even reach it. This is just the bottom five teams on payroll. There right. are there are 10 teams that are below the average on this. Yeah. When you got five to nine teams who simply just won't pay their players, where are these players supposed to go when they're actually wanting to get their fair market value? They're going to go to the Dodgers. They're going to go to the Yankees. They're going to go to the... They're going to go anywhere. They're going to go anywhere who's going to pay Absolutely. them. Absolutely. So forgive me, it's not the Dodgers. It's not the Yankees. It's not the Padres. It's not the Mets that are rooting baseball. It is these bottom feeder teams that are owning baseball just to churn a profit. They don't give a damn about the team. Yeah, They're just trying to make money, hand over fist. They don't care about baseball. Yeah. That's what's ruining baseball. They're, they're, not. they're way more worried about making a dime and not actually putting a product on the field that their fans want to come see. And the fact is, is if you win 100 baseball games, people are going to keep showing up. Yeah. But if your product doesn't produce in the postseason... What does it actually matter? Yeah, the Royals right? got swept out of the first round of the playoffs. In the, well, in the, and it was a rough it was, it was a rough series to watch, man. Yeah, and you know what the owner said? Enjoy these players while you can, because we're not going to be able to keep all of them. If we want to keep some of them, we're going to have to raise ticket prices. That is almost a direct quote from the owner of the Orioles. And the dude's on the team since like 1993, man. And you realize when he bought the team, I think he paid $53 million yeah. for them. And they're worth $2 billion now. Folks, let us know in the comments down below what you think. Am I right on this? Is my take wrong? Is it the Dodgers? And all these teams that are spending $200 million plus in baseball that is rooting baseball. Well, folks, if you're watching this on YouTube, keep in mind this whole video is available as a podcast on our playlists underneath podcast. You'll probably miss some of the things we talked about in this video uh, that we didn't actually get to mention, which was probably going to be the talk about Walker Bueller and Jackson Ferris. You probably didn't see that on the video. So make sure you go ahead and, and listen to the full podcast. If you want to catch everything we talked about today. It's also available audio only wherever you get your podcast. You can also find this episode on our website at dnasportsrecap.com. Yep. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like it. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Again, we're giving them that $500 away to five lucky subscribers. That's $100 each. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, we are going to be going live in February. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Uh, we look forward to tuning in with you guys uh, here in the future. Smash that like button for your boy, AJ, over here. That's right. With all that said, my name is Darren. That is AJ. And this has been the DNA Sports Recap. Until next time. Doo -doo. Doo -doo.